Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Trace Corlew of Gladwin Football. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So um, uh, before we get into this season, let's talk about winning the state championship last year. Um, uh, just uh, what was that like for you? Uh, it was a surreal moment. It was by far one of the craziest moments of my life. Probably the most memorable moment that I'll ever have. Not a lot of people get to win a state championship. They can go on to college, but they a lot of people just don't win state championships. And that was just uh, an, like a goal that we had in mind, and we've set it, and we won. And, no, and nothing's going to take it away. Um, so let's, um, you know, how's the summer been going, preparing for this year? What has it been like for you? Yeah, it's it's been really good. We got a lot of guys in the weight room, um, almost perfect attendance across the board from a lot of our like starters and players from last year. Uh, the young guys are getting in the weight room and they're out in the field conditioning, stuff like that. But we got really, really good numbers this year. Yeah. Okay, so um, you're going to be kind of everywhere this year. And you've, um, you're going to be, well, let, why don't you tell everybody where you're going to be? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so last year I played only wide receiver and DB, and I was hurt for half the season. But this year, being that all the seniors are gone and we're losing a lot of players, I'm playing uh, running back. We'll do like two man or two back formations, and I'll be running back for a little bit. I'll play slot receiver a lot, and then I'll play a little bit of wide receiver when, uh, when needed. And then instead of corner this year, I'm playing safety, but I could – probably b- bounce around to corner safety depending on where I'm needed. Yeah. Um so okay, so kind of talk about just like, you know, I know you're one of the captains this year, but just uh what what's like your personality just like off the field? Like what are what are you like? Uh I would say uh hardworking, humble, determined, outgoing is a really uh is really just who I am. I'm an outgoing person. I talk to a lot of people on the team, and uh, I like my family. I have a lot. Of, I have a lot of family. I have to be outgoing in my family. So, yeah. Hey, nothing wrong with that. It's uh. Yeah, big you know, big family. So. So what is like um, what's it just like to you know interact with everybody you know teammates and all that stuff? It's like. I know Gladwin's a very small community. Um, yeah. But what's it what what's it just like to interact with just everybody in the town? I mean, I'm pretty sure if you go to like um the grocery store, the post office or um really anywhere, you'll recognize somebody. What's that Yeah, like? it you, <laughs> living in Gladwin, you basically know just about everyone you see. Um and winning like a state championship, you kind of get treated like royalty because they just look at you like completely different after that state championship because it's just something that a lot of people don't do. And um, the community is great. They all support us. They, uh, The high school, they give us our, our funds, whatever. We get a lot of support from the high school and our principal. So, Yeah. All right. Um, what's going to be special about this year? What do you feel like um... – you know, these next two weeks is going to be uh, is going to be fun because obviously it opens up team camps and all that fun stuff. How excited yeah. to uh, to get back going and get uh, get to two days and uh, have a, and uh, it's going to be the next three months of the season are yeah. uh, going to be pretty fun. Yeah, um, being a junior this year, this being my junior season, and also being a captain this year, I'm going to have to step up a lot. I know. Um, the players, they listen. They're good for the most part with that. They all have that same mindset as, like, the old class in Jarsfer and Emmy. They do a good job bringing that culture in and uh, making sure all the people are in our on our team are on, on the same page. Yeah. Um, like, so what are you, like, describe – how would you describe yourself on the football field? On the football field, I would say – uh, ambitious, always wanting to make a play and be that spotlight kind of guy. Yeah. Um, very talkative, I'd say. Uh, 
communication is one of the things that we're like, it's like high priority. If you're not communicating, then you're not doing something right. If you're not talking, then something's got to go wrong. So uh, communication is probably one of the biggest things on our team, especially on the defensive side. Yeah. All right. Um, well, um, Trace, let's get to know you a little bit. Um, and uh, obviously, if you've been following this channel, it's uh, time for the famous 10 burning questions. So here we go. Uh, what <laughs> is, uh, how do you mentally prepare for a football game? Uh, a lot of times I like to listen to music. I'll put in my AirPods and I'll sit on the bus. And quiet. I don't really talk to anyone on the bus. And um, we're, I'm, I kind of just lock in. Like I just get in that mindset, getting ready to play the game. Um, yeah. Music is probably like the thing I use the most though. Okay. Um, bonus question here. What is Tra what's on Trace's playlist? Uh a little bit of like Lil Baby, Ghana, the uh I don't know. Just uh it's, it's a very broad variety of uh like hip hop rap, just stuff that'll pump me up, get me going. Yeah, it's like some people have stuff to uh, hype you, pump yeah. you up, but it also maybe there might be some songs that'll calm you down a little bit too. Yeah, our coaches like to play a lot of like rock music, especially Coach Cherry. He's a rock music guy. It's always in the weight room if he's on the the, the playlist, the Ox. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, um, okay, um, all right. On a scale of one to ten, how well are you at responding to text messages? Uh, like a four. I I'm not usually on my phone much at all. I'm usually if I'm not on my phone or if I'm on my phone it's only to check and see if my parents texted me or for a game or something most of the time I'm playing like my xbox or I'm at like the football field practicing or something like that okay um okay so if you got to pick a restaurant for so let's say that Gladwin someone from Gladwin came to you and said we're building a new restaurant but building a new restaurant that's a mouthful to say and we want you to pick. What do you pick? Um, Chick Fil A is a really popular one for me. I love Chick Fil A, but okay. if it like fast food restaurant, Chick Fil A. But if it was like a sit down restaurant, probably like a Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, I'm a big wing guy. All right. Uh, speaking of food, what is your pregame meal before a game? Uh, pasta. Usually, chicken alfredo with broccoli is like my go-to all the time. And then in the mornings, I'll eat oatmeal. Just a lot of carbs. Okay. Yeah. What do you do to make yourself feel better if you're having a bad day? Uh, most of the time, I'll just throw my AirPods in and I'll listen to music. That usually is like, just like just gets me going for some reason. Or I'll play my Xbox. Xbox is a something I do a lot too. Okay, what is it like? Okay, uh, what's uh, what? What do you like to play on Xbox? Uh, Warzone is like about one of the only games I play. I'll play like Rainbow Six Siege. I'm, I don't know if you've heard of that or not. Yes, I have actually. You have you you have okay. Hey, I'm yeah, young Siege. too, so there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad, my bad. Sorry. So I may be, I may just turn 28, but I'm still, I still know. <laughs> All right. You know, Siege and uh, Warzone. Oh yeah. Games I play the most. Oh yeah. Uh, how much do you remember about past seasons of football or any other sport? Um, Past seasons of football, like youth. Are you talking like youth? I'm talking about anything. Like do you, anything. Like, yeah. Just any season. Like if you can go back to like, I don't know um obviously i think you can go back to your high school days and figure those out yeah you can go, do you, if there's like a game you remember from like middle school or elementary school or when you were a wee one um do you remember like do you re yeah i remember there was a one game it was youth season which I'm not gonna brag myself up or anything but i remember i had i did close to 300 yards myself i had like five touchdowns in the game I had like a kick return touchdown. I had a passing touchdown, a receiving touchdown, and then I had like three rushing touchdowns. I remember it was probably like 
by far one of the best games. Just my my youth days, but yeah, you're still I got to young. high school. You're still young, though. I got to high. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I got two more seasons, so hopefully both of them go as I go as I plan. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so if you if you got to pick one social media app to use and delete the rest, what would it be? Probably, oh, it's between Instagram or Snapchat right now. Probably Instagram. Instagram, because <laughs> Snapchat, I literally only use to text people, and I can always just go to, like, message it, like, my message or something like that. So probably Instagram, just, yeah, Inst Instagram for sure. Yeah, it, the thing is, it's like, if you want to text somebody, just text them on Messenger, on the Messenger. Yeah, yeah. I don't have an iPhone, so I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> okay. um Yeah. Okay, now it's time for the most controversial question on this list and person, my personal favorite. All right, all right, all right. Rank your top five fast food restaurants. Top five? Yes. Okay, so here's right. how this works. You can choose like from your regular fast foods, like your McDonald's, your Taco Bell's, your Wendy's and all that. You can also go to the premium fast food category. You can go like your Qdoba's or um, let's see, Chipotle. Five Guys, Culver's, Jersey Mike's, all that. You, restaurants count too. All right. All right. So one, I, I kind of already said it was uh, Chick-fil-A. It's probably my number one. Right. Two. Oh, I'm... Oh, oh, one more thing. It has to be from one to five. So one being, I love it. That's my favorite. Fives being, it's still my favorite, but it's not better than one, two, three, or four. Yeah, no, my one, my number one, my favorite is probably oh, Chick-fil-A. Okay. okay. And then my second is probably Culver's. I like I like Culver's a lot. Okay. okay. Um, three is Taco Bell. Taco Bell's my three. Uh four. It's like everyone's favorite usually. Like McDonald's is probably my four because I, I get a lot of McDonald's. But I went to McDonald's. Uh, five. Is it? Yeah, is it? five. Five is probably like Wendy's, just because of like their uh, the frosty. I think Wendy's is probably my five, just because they're frosty. Not go wrong with one. Uh, the Wendy's frosty is overrated. I no wait no. I, I I disagree. It's, I disagree. It's underrated, not overrated. No, I, 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 other way around. Oh okay okay there you go there you go. Yeah, I, I, it's it's been a long day for me, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So um. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, I do case in point, I do like the Wendy's frosty. There's nothing <laughs> I do go to Wendy's quite often. Well, not as, yeah. I mean, obviously not every day and all that, but every once in a while you got, you, you make your way over there. So, they, they, um, they, they got like three fast food restaurants. So it, it's usually like, if we go to Midland, I'll get something like that. So it's not like every day that yeah you get any of that stuff. Yeah, no. Um, I know, I know everyone likes to go to Tropical Smoothie and all that too. So that's oh like, yeah, I, I like Tropical Smoothie. I didn't even think of that. Tropical I didn't think of K I didn't think of KFC either. I like KFC a lot. KFC is good. KFC is good. <laughs> it's like any chicken place that's uh, yeah that's out there. So, yeah, yeah. You got Chick Fil A. You got Raising Cane's too. Um, I've never been to Raising Cane's. I heard it's really good though. Yeah, it is uh, you know? Let's hope a Raising Cane's comes to Gladwin. Um, <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, okay. Here's another one of my favorites. Ha, um, what is the song that, you know, every word to without looking? Uh, Those wants and needs, wants and needs by Drake and, um, uh, okay. little baby for sure. Okay. So you I used to, my back in my freshman days, I used to bump that song all the time, yeah. like all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's a, there's like always one song that everyone. Yeah, I have, has, I have it, quite a few, like, I don't know them off the top of my head, but that was one that came to my mind quick because I used to listen to it so much. And like, is there like, is there like a team song that everyone, like everyone like is like, do you sing it? I mean, obviously yeah, excluding the fight song, but like, <laughs> is there like a team song that everyone, that everyone knows like the victory song or something like that? Yeah. We, um, not our last, not last year's seniors, but the year before that, the seniors, they brought a song. It's like, it's got like five words in it. It's called pump it up. It's, 
you literally you, you we all just jump up and down and just scream. Yeah, I mean, that song. It's not. It's like the. It's not. It doesn't have like any lyrics to it. It's just. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, we all just get hyped from it. Yeah, it's like uh, you know, it's like uh, jump, you know, like jump, jump by crisscross and all that. It, yeah. It, it, yeah. That might be the team song this year. You never know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last one is, um, my um, this this I always like to keep the, this is the last one. If you could say something to your younger self. Something you know now but didn't know then, what would it be? Um, I would say uh, build bonds with people that are like the older class because you don't get to play with them all the time. Uh, losing like a lot of the seniors from last year, it kind of – it doesn't change you, but you like try to carry on what they built. Yeah. And uh, I would say just build bonds with the older class, like the upperclassmen and uh, – continue to like talk to everyone on your team because eventually you're not gonna get those days back and yeah 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 it's um uh, enjoy every day you're not guaranteed yeah. anyone so yeah exactly one of the biggest life lessons that 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 you know that a lot of people go by including myself yeah so all right well, please, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and uh best of luck this season let's have you on again sometime yeah, all right. Thank you. I appreciate it.